Hey, good morning, guys. I'm Marty, and this is Cockadoodle Farm. And today is chicken killing day. The chickens live their best life, and now they're gonna live a better life in heaven. Chicken heaven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So today is chicken killing day. We got about 46 meat chickens that we're gonna have to um, harvest today. I always get like a little anxious when it kind of comes to these days, but it gets a little bit easier every time we do it. And we have some help coming today too, which is going to be great to hopefully get through these 45 or so chickens and have them all packaged and ready to put in the freezer. So that's the plan anyways. Um, let's see how it actually works out. Let me show you the setup that we have for these guys. We got Mary Kate's killing station here. She's gonna slice the carotid and let them bleed out into the bucket here. And then after the chickens are dead, we're going to dip them and scald them in the water here. That's gonna help loosen up the feathers. Then we're gonna come over to the, this bad boy that we just set up, which is a chicken plucker. Kind of winds around like a washing machine and plucks all the, chick the feathers off for us, is the idea anyways. And then we've been trying all morning to get this tent set up, but it's my dad's tent from his childhood. He can't remember how to put it up. So that's been interesting, but we were just doing that to help protect against all the flies and everything while we butcher them. So then we're ready to go. We are done. Now we have an empty hoop house. It's very quiet. It's eerily quiet around here. So it is it's four o'clock now. We started right around right around 10 o'clock we started. So it's a six hour process. It's definitely not something that happened super quick, um, but I'm super happy that we did it. And now the real challenge is gonna be how they taste. Hey guys, so it's been a couple weeks since we did our meat chickens and I kind of want to break the experience down a little bit. How much it actually ended up costing us, the amount of time it took us, and would we do it again? And if so, what would we do differently? All right, so let's start with the cost. So we got 50 meat chickens from Freedom Ranger Hatchery and the total cost for that was $115. The feed was right around 60, so the total hard costs were 175. But being that this was our first time doing this, we had some setup costs as well. Setup costs included housing. We ended up building a hoop house, cost about $400. We had to buy that chicken plucker, which was 450. Knives were 100. We actually ended up having the pot and burner, but if you needed to buy one of those, that'd be 200. Kill cone, 20 bucks. So the total startup costs were $1,173. So all in or right around $1,300. Compare that going to a store, just buying the 50 meat chickens for $7 a piece, that would have been 
But keep in mind, we had a lot of startup costs there. So if we did it again, the cost would only be $175. So moving forward, it actually would be cheaper for us to do our own meat chickens as opposed to getting our chicken from the store, which was not what I thought it was gonna be. And that of course wasn't factoring in the time that it took to both raise and harvest the chickens. Raising the chickens, it took about 15 minutes a day. And the biggest part of that was moving the hoop house. If we had a different living situation where I wouldn't have to keep on moving that hoop house, it would have drastically cut down on the amount of time that we had to spend every day to carry for the chickens. And then on harvest day, like I mentioned, it took us right around six hours. So right around 10 chickens an hour. We didn't really have any idea what we're doing and I'm sure we can improve the harvest time substantially. And there is a bit of an art cooking these chickens as well. I'll let Kate handle that one. Hey guys, so um, we figured out a way how to cook our chickens to make them taste better because smoking them didn't work, roasting them didn't work. We have a friend that's a chef and he recommended one sturdy thawed, cut them like right in the middle at the breast and then give them um, a 24 hour marinade with lemon, olive oil, and garlic uh, in the refrigerator. And then grill them on each side with like butterfly, you know, for about 10 minutes. And then wrap them in tin foil and put them on the second shelf on the grill. And um, I left them in there for probably like 30 minutes just because I got distracted with life. And they were really, really good. Um, everybody loved it. It was super delicious. So. Um, I think that's how we're going to be cooking the rest of our chickens from now on. So when it's all said and done, will we do it again? I'd say yeah, we absolutely give this a try again, especially being that we're not going to have the startup costs. The things that we would do differently, I would love to have a different housing situation for them so I wouldn't have to be moving that hoop house every day. And the other thing that would be really nice is to have a couple extra hands helping out on harvest day. So when you get to hour four, you're kind of getting done having your hands in all the guts. So if we had a couple extra hands there and it was about a four hours, I think that would have helped it to be a little bit less like work and a little bit more like fun. But I really appreciate you guys watching today. If you'd like to follow along with our adventures here on the farm, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. It doesn't smell bad. No. So we saved chicken liver and hearts and the gizzard. And so I was Googling it and apparently it's like a superfood for dogs. And it's best if it's raw. No, that's gross. <laughs> yeah, it's gross.